knowledge about the surface marking of the lung is extremely important to uh, properly understand the localization of the respiratory signs when you palpate percuss or auscultate the lung let's first take the uh, right lung which has three lobes first you need to draw the oblique fissure which starts from the d2 spine to identify the d2 spine you count two spinous processes below the most prominent spine when you bend the neck which is the c7 spinous process so you'll identify d1 and then d2 you start the right oblique fissure there it should be drawn along the medial margin of the scapula with the scapula being hyperabducted as much as possible as shown in the diagram so this line should move in the oblique fashion as shown in the diagram to uh, cross the fifth rib in the mid axillary line and subsequently after crossing through the fifth rib in the mid axillary line it goes forward in an anterior and inferior direction up to the sixth costochondral junction so from the d2 spinous process through the fifth rib in the mid axillary line to the sixth costochondral junction you first draw the right oblique fissure this oblique fissure as you can see divides a, a lower lobe from the upper and the middle lobe next you need to draw the horizontal fissure which starts in the fourth costochondral junction as shown in the diagram and it is drawn laterally till the point where it crosses the already drawn oblique fissure so this horizontal fissure will divide the upper lobe from the middle lobe so you need you have divided the right lung into the upper lobe middle lobe and the lower lobe left lobe is quite uh, easy because it doesn't have the middle lobe so you just draw the oblique fissure in the same pattern in which you drew the right oblique fissure which will divide the left upper lobe and the lower lobe now regarding the upper and the lower margin of the lung the upper margin is about 2 cm above the clavicle we'll be discussing about a, um, a clinical area called chronic systemus in another video the lower margin of the lung corresponds to the sixth rib in the right mid clavicular line eighth rib in the mid axillary line and the 10th rib in the mid scapular line while the pleural reflections are little um, longer so you can just add two ribs to the lower margin of the lung which will be the 8th rib in the mid clavicular line 10th rib in the mid axillary line and the 12th rib in the mid scapular line which will give you the outline of the pleura you can see more clinical videos in this channel